हाय दीपा साइकोमेट्रिक टेस्ट द इंपॉर्टेंस ऑफ साइकोमेट्रिक टेस्ट स्पेशली फॉर पर्सनैलिटी असेसमेंट इज इंक्रीजिंग डे बाई डे इन रिक्रूटमेंट पैटर्न of course we know verbal ability test we know quantitative aptitude test and you will be consciously preparing it because you know the pattern you know the types of questions but this is not that easy now let's try to understand point 1 what are the fundamentals or what is the purpose behind this exam the purpose behind this exam is to basically test your unconscious abilities means in natural as a natural perspective whether some of the personality traits are available in you so that you can exhibit them you can basically deliver them in the workplace right like obviously self discipline then you will not have a formula based test for that again motivation team work and you have stress management you have anger management you have leadership skills and basically time management because in oral interviews when they ask questions on this i uh, you know that to test this abilities consciously you will be delivering good answers only but they can't take it for granted so that's why this test with different types of questions and the ability to react to situations and whether you have uniformity in answering that questions so when they actually keep this test basically most of them will get caught because in one answer you will be delivering some different skill i mean that answer will determining uh, determining a different personality but in another answer you may not actually give the same kind of personality answer it is confusing right now that's why to clear this confusion let's see some examples and i'll try to explain how that examples are related to this skills and how they are depending on this kind of test to actually get your personality fine see this statement i am confident in what i do right it is a simple statement and now he is asking you to tick at least one option out of this five options now what are these five options strongly agree agree neutral disagree and strongly disagree now immediately you should get into the deeper aspect of this question it is uh, testing your confidence basically when you do something in your workplace you should do with your full conviction and with full confidence then only the expected desired output can come so without any doubt you can easily take that i strongly agree with that statement because when you have hesitation when you have doubt you will not start the task right so that's why these questions can be given the highest point is as strongly agree and now in some formats they are not even mentioning these options they are giving 1 2 3 4 5 5 and he clearly mentions that whether he is thinking one was the highest possibility or five was the highest as the highest possibility so you need to clearly read that because in examinations reading the instructions is very important so you need to clearly read that that for which option he is giving the highest possibility so if he is giving the highest possibility for number one option obviously you will be taking strongly agree right now let's see another example i get angry very easily another very straight statement now obviously if you do not have anger management you cannot have control on your anger then only this can happen and at workplace getting anger obviously is not so good so again very clearly you can go for strongly disagree presence of mind is very important yes that's why there's a lot of difference between strongly agree and strongly disagree so you are not going to get angry easily because you are not that kind of personality so that kind of personalities can be a threat to organization so you need to immediately go for strongly disagree because we need to be sensible and you know just common sense because you can't go for disagree you can't uh, of course disagree also a good option you can't go for ne uh, neutral and you cannot go for agree but the problem with uh, you know choosing disagree is already when you have a better option which is strongly disagree there is no need to go for disagree also you just want to go for strongly disagree and the other four options cannot have a chance in this chance because it's purely how to deal with anger management issues let's go for another tricky example i believe that i am better than others right it's a very tricky statement because you cannot give an extreme answer in such question because when you say for example it obviously any person should be self confident and he should have high esteem for himself but when you say that 
strongly agree it might be taken as a bit over confidence and arrogance so that's why as a normal person this is a psychometric evaluation so you can safely keep an option that agree because you are a confident person but sometimes somebody else might be better than you so obviously you just get inspired and you try to improve yourself so in such situations it's always you know better not to choose an extreme positive answer also so you can easily choose a little bit agree but you can't go for neutral disagree and strongly disagree see neutral option is only for some complex scenarios like will you always be open for change right as a person you should be open for a change but always open for a change it's really practically not possible like so there are some scenarios where you can choose neutral when you feel that uh, as i told uniformity of the answers is very important in one scenario you told that you are neutral and in another scenario you are taking the option for extremely positive or extremely negative it means that your answers are in not in uniformity and they will look for honesty in such exams okay so please point one understand the motive behind the question second select the pattern of answers and third follow the uniformity if you can do this three things obviously you will uh, psychometric analysis will be correctly determined and they will be happy with what kind of honesty you are giving the answers i hope this video will be helpful for you thank you for